Hello everyone, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon, I've got my coffee with me and I'm ready to entertain you for the day. Today I'm coming at you another Let's Play episode of A Place to Call Home. So the last place we left off, yeah, Leo went to kind of a crazy rage because uh, Filio stole one of his Cuban cigars and then lit it on fire and then he got naked and then body slammed a cigar to the ground. <laughs> Oh, I love this game. It's so silly. It's so absolutely silly. I can't but laugh every time I play it. But anyway, guys, let's jump right into it. I'm going to entertain you for the next 20 minutes, and let's go. All right, alarm chain, you're up. Okay, let's do it. <clears throat> All right. Well, he's not here, so I guess it's fine. I normally would not talk about my son, Fern, to anybody. It's kind of... hurts. M my apologies, sir. It's okay, it's fine. He grinned, popping another can. It fizzles and drips to the floor. Fern came into our lives when he was seven. He was one year ahead of Filio. He saw Filio playing all by himself in the snow and saw how lonely he was. Wow, what a loser. But I was alone during my childhood too, so... Hmm. Like Filio, he had his own set of problems. Both his parents enlisted for the war, leaving only him and his brother. Fern's brother left him to our care, apparently. He had his own reasons. He had his own reasons he'd rather not say. He sipped from the can. Ah. Hmm. Mm-mm. Hmm. Then what? What? You are talking about Fern. Oh, of course. Sorry. Fern. Quirky boy he was. He and Philly loved being playmates. They were stuck together like glue and could go on a day without being, without being with each other. He was gifted with knowledge. Whenever we played on our old chessboard, he never lost a single match. He even put up a plan to ratio our food back when we were still living in tents. Even I couldn't think about rationing. Ratioing or rationing? It has to be rationing. <laughs> Ratioing. Let's ratio that food on Twitter, boys. <laughs> that food said something controversial. I mostly just eat all of, that, all of what's here. I look at Leo's fat stomach. Yep. You can hardly tell. When he heard about the war, he studied papers of campaign maps from books. He had this twinkle in his eye whenever he heard the word sneaking. He then enlisted to become a soldier, and one thing I never expected for him to do. Why didn't you expect that? He took another sip of beer. Uh, hmm. He, uh... He had a history of stealing things from shops and jewelry stores. He said he picked it up from his brother. <laughs> One day he told me that he was ready, uh, that he was already working with campaign master the general himself. I literally could not believe it when he said that, but I could only stay silent when the general himself came to talk to me. Helliger. Damn indeed. He took another sip. Ugh. ugh. Hmm. 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 Leo! Huh? What is it? Fern! Of course! Of, of course. He stared into nothing. Uh... Hmm? He can't handle alcohol very well. Sorry about that, Seth. He was with Philio when he passed away. Huh? It... It really hurt me when I saw both of them lying there. I thought I'd lose both of my boys that day. I quickly got up to pat his back. I miss my son so much. Hmm. I'm sorry for bringing this up. It's all right. He sipped from the can. Burp. <laughs> silly, silly, silly! You're all so silly. He chugs the can down. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I done see Gern Gern Mer beer. I think that saying, did you want some more beer? I took some German classes years ago. Uh-oh, he's gone full German mode. What? Beer! He hands out another can to Seth. Oh! Beret! Hey, Beret! Beret! I got up and went to my room before anything weird happened. <laughs> I see the wolf laying down. And Filio? I whispered. He's fast asleep while cuddling his pillow. His phone is lying beside him, unlocked. Uh oh. He's looking at the gayness. Hmm. 
I quietly picked it up and scrolled through his gallery. Wow, he's been taking pics of himself in the mirror. Images of him taking selfies fill the gallery. Some are pics of him shirtless. Oh boy, who are you sending this to? I checked his chat apps and saw conversations between him and many people. You single? Hey, wanna meet up? Here's a pic of my dick. Ew, 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 scroll past that. He doesn't seem to reply to any of them, except for one. Is this really you? He sends Philio an image of himself from his own te from his own tweetster. Yeah, why? Do you work out? Yeah, at the gym on Thursdays. Wow, what's your routine? Whey powder and weights. Oh. <laughs> Wait, you've got a ring? You're married? Never mind then. Wait, what? I scrolled up to the image. I zoomed in on his left hand and on his fourth finger sits a silver ring. No way. I checked the snoring wolf's hand. There's nothing on it. But... But how? I checked the date of the message. Two years ago. It's taken a few days before I first came here. I exited the app. Meh. Knowing him, it could just be a fake ring. He likes to make himself look cool at times. I checked the recent apps tab. A notepad pops up. Seems like he's back to writing. I open it. It's always gotta be you, doesn't it? Let's see. Let me try that one. His voice. It's always gotta be you, doesn't it? All the spotlight, all the fame, and the praise. That's no surprise, really. You're a hero, after all. A selfish a-hole that only cared for the other, for other people rather than your own family. Some kind of hero you are. But I love that side of you. To me, that's something of a feat in itself. You saved lives, after all. You never seemed to click at the right places. That was one of them. But you really tried. And I found that cute. Whenever I got beaten up for doing something dumb, you were there to give me a warm hug. From you, I saw hope. The first time I saw you look at me with such a big smile, holding out a big catfish, I knew that I was going to be full. You really could have made all this easier for me, you know. But would anything even have been worth doing now that you're gone? Hmm. Damn, I need to stop looking at other people's phones. I turned the thing off and placed it beside him. Hmm. Hey! God save my soul if I lose this round again! Leo placed a yellow chip down. Uh, Seth returns to, Cerner returns to play with a red chip. I win! Now! Bottoms up! You're killing me, Lanehart! He chugs an entire can down. Ludus! Wanna play five in a row? The winner gets another pizza slice. Ludus? I think I'll pass for now. They might, not have, they might have not noticed, but I've been munching on the other box of chicken wings since lunchtime. I continue to stare at their game. It's 7 p.m. and the rain's really pouring down. Wow, could you believe we've been drinking the entire day? Yes. Wait, really? He looked at his watch. Crap, I need to go. Oh, uh, leaving so soon. I have a shift tomorrow. But it's raining. Seth stopped at the open door. Outside was thick with heavy rain. <sighs> it is quite dangerous to drive in the storm, too. You've been drinking. He closed the door and sat back down with Leo. Well... More drinks for me. Oh, me. He cheered. Yay! <laughs> well, where are you? VN. <laughs> Horny Brazilians. <laughs> it's been on the same story for hours now. God, is there nothing else in the news day? Two years. I've been thinking. Does Philia have a girlfriend? I haven't seen him interacting with, people, with much people since I came here. I lied down, curled on the sofa, staring at the two big cats that look immersed with their intense duel of five in a row. Mmm. Oh my god. That's some good coffee. Oh my lord. The window, the, the window opened with the smell of unearthed soil dug by the rain is the very first thing that comes to mind. It's always a memory, the rain. It's unforgettable. It's a time when our, it's a time where melancholy is at its peak, where sorrow is gathered and recognized as something we tend to fear. But some people say that rain are the tears of people in the skies, the relic that are a constant reminder that whenever there is sorrow, there is happiness that comes after. These tears aren't meant to make us sad, but why does it feel like so? Hmm. They continued on drinking for the next half for the next hour and a half. 
They're both still kicking and singing lively as Leo booted up the TV for a karaoke session. Your song up next, Lionheart. Leo stands up. Oh no. <clears throat> oh no. Oh no. Oh no, Leo, what are you doing? Is he playing? Okay. Oh! Oh, this is really well. This is so cool. Opera. <laughs> oh, I love it. Wow. Oh, I hope this isn't uh, copyrighted music. After the fun had ended, he dropped on the bed. Seth sat on the floor next to him. Okay. Let me try and pronounce this German. Ah, all right. Have rented so spat dark knocked in wind. Ugh. Mm. What did he say, kid? Not sure. Something about riding at late nights and winds. I see. He taught you well. It's just some small words I picked up. Es ist der Vater mit... Blep. Mit seinem kind. Er hat den Haben wohl in dem Arm. Hmm. Hmm. Your father's a great singer. I didn't really hear him sing much. Yeah, most of it happens in the kitchen when he cooks. Leo mumbles in his sleep. Do you have something you need to get back at your place? It's really pouring outside. Well, I don't seem to have anything important left behind. Do you mind me staying here for the night? I looked at Leo. He seems fine with it. All right, I'll sleep here. He lies down on the floor. No, wait. You can you can sleep here on the soap. Uh, it took me a couple minutes to completely clean the mess they made on the floor. Leo would eventually wake up to clean to clean these up, but I'd rather do it since he seems quite tired. I woke Seth up to keep on to keep the, to sleep on the sofa, which he does, and brought both of them blankets and pillows from Leo's room. The pillows smell like Leo, but I'm sure Seth won't mind. He's a cat too, after all. Ludus, Leo muttered, "I need a hug." Uh oh, uh oh. He pulls me in and I drop onto his chest. He then squeezes me. Leo, too tight. Hmm. My face sank between his pecs, and I took a deep breath. He eventually lets me go. <laughs> the rain still hadn't cleared up, and it showed no signs of doing so. I grabbed a slice of pizza and a glass of milk before going to bed. The wolf was still asleep. You sure are sleeping a lot today. Silently slipping myself into, onto bed, I faced his back and thought about today. I hope you don't feel too bad about my arm. It's fine, you know. Oh, sweet guys. Bunch of sweet guys. Oop. Wake up! Wake up! Please. Oh. His breathing was heavy. Blood slowly flowed onto the cold snow he was resting on. And so did mine. My body felt warm as it covered my fur. The stinging pain from a bullet still sears through my leg. The sore wounds from deep cuts of knives made me want to stay still. Did I already save it? Yes, I did. I, but, okay. Let's see. Maybe I did. What time is it? Okay, 9. 20. Yeah, I did. Okay, I'm good. The stinging pain from a bullet still sears through my leg. The sore wounds from deep cuts of knives made me want to stay still. Torn limbs scatter around us. Bodies of men lie on the cold ground. They're dead. We're safe now. I held his face. He looks at me. Fern points to his pocket. Call. Leo. Ugh. Damn! My brows drip with cold sweat. Shit! I covered Ludus with my blanket and got out of bed. Ugh. Time to get naked. The sound of running water somehow made me feel relaxed. A little bit. Today I broke Ludus' arm. The water felt cold in my fur. Unforgivable. A burning sensation crawls up in my chest. It pounds on the walls of my lungs. It's this feeling again. Ever since yesterday I've been getting these warm sensations around my body. I haven't been telling them anything. I thought it would go away on its own. I looked at the mirror. 
Look at what you've done, idiot. <laughs> Who are you? I'm you. The real you. I really messed up, didn't I? You sure done fucked up. You're very good at ruining things, you know that? People, relationships, lives, even yourself. I didn't mean to do any of those. Didn't mean to? Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't mean to break Ludus's arm? I was pretty sure you did that because, I don't know, you said he needs to piss off? Shut up! I didn't say that. I didn't mean to hurt him. Of course you didn't. And I'm sure you won't try to hurt them anymore, right? I- I won't. Lies. You'll do it again, and again, and again! Shut up! And again, and again, until they finally break! Shut up! And die, just like everyone you loved! Shut up! Filio! Filio, you don't deserve to be loved. Ooh, that's fucking... Uh-oh, does someone have a little bit of split personality going on? Mm. Ah! I flipped to my side, forgetting that I have an injured arm. Ah! I jumped. The pain was like a thousand needles poking my elbow. I searched around for the wolf. His shape on the bed is still fresh, though. Phil? Shattering sound. Oh, he punched the fucking mirror. He punched the mirror. Huh? He must have broken a plate while searching for food. Phil? Sounds of labored growling from the bathroom. Hmm? The night was still on the night was still, unbothered by sounds of home. I walked closer, silence growing stronger. I could hear water running through ceramic. The knob creaked as I slowly turned it. Each metal tick made gravity pull my feet heavier on the ground. I looked around and desperately tried to not make any noise. <laughs> Filio? My eyes sharply turned to sink to the sink that was dripping with red. <gasps> I reached for his back. Philio, are you okay? Uh oh. Hmm? Ludus? I froze. He looked at me with eyes filled with dread. He looked different. Arms wrapped around my waist before I could even notice. I hugged him back. I couldn't say a word. I did not know what to say to him. His arms trembled. Each breath that came from his lungs were warm. What's going on? He didn't reply. He released me from his embrace and took a l and I took a look at his bloodied hand. One of the mirrors were shattered into pieces. Did you do that? He nods. Let's get you patched up, all right? Jesus, Filio. Ugh. I guided his hands to the sink and he let me wash the blood away. Pieces of glass pierced his skin and he flinched as I pulled them out. Ugh. Sorry. He stares at me as I dress his wound with a soft cloth. He stares at the bandage on his hand and gently feels it, flinching from each press. There. All better. I picked up the shards of glass on the sink and cleaned off the blood that seems to have dripped on the wall. When he even formed a fist. From time to time, I took a glance at his face, and when he wasn't looking... When, when he wasn't looking, his fangs seemed larger, his teeth sharper, and his hair seemed to stand up more. His size, too, was a little bigger than usual. He looks at me with a blank gaze. I quickly averted mine. A cold drop of sweat pours from my temples as I clean the floor, and he's just standing there without saying anything. As my sleepiness started to fade, his face slowly registers into my head. Then it hit me. Okay. Oh my god, who is this man? Oh! Oh shit, okay, okay, so if we guess Filio is turning into a werewolf, or a... I don't know! The buying shit from Hot Topic. I don't know. Leo, wake up and help me out here! He moves closer. I am hungry. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Wait! Don't say your prayers now! Do something! Pizza! <laughs> you distract a werewolf! You scream pizza! Oh, I love it. That's so logical. <laughs> Everyone loves pizza. He stops moving. N have you eaten yet? I stiffened on the floor. He doesn't respond. Come on, Philia, work with me here. Th the pizza is on the fridge. Want me to heat it up for you? And on our way there, I can dial the cops. It's got pineapples. He grabs me by the arm. The other one didn't have pineapples. 
He stares at me in the eyes. He looks so much different than before with his monstrous look. I, I, I like your new hairstyle, P. He opens his mouth. A breath of hot air blows to my face. Oh, wow, is he going to breathe fire now? His jaw widens bit by bit, drool dripping from his mouth like some kind of hungry demon. I close my eyes. Ah! Let's microwave a slice. Huh? I'm hungry. He grabs my hand and he leads me to the kitchen. Uh, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? That was such a what was such a what the fuck scene, oh my god. Hmm. Wait. Oh my god, they're playing the fucking funeral music! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Alright guys, that's been the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to the next video. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!